A second woman has come forward saying she was shot in the face with a police projectile at Saturday's protest in La Mesa. News 8 first reported last night on a grandmother who remains in the ICU after being hit between the eyes. As David Godfordson reports, the latest victim says she wasn't even part of the protest. I felt something split my face open and I could just feel the blood leaving my face. This is what happened to Delane Hurley Saturday afternoon as she was taking a walk past the La Mesa Police Department. She stopped in front of the building to watch the protesters in the parking lot. She told me this was before any tear gas had been fired. They didn't make an announcement. If somebody would have said, you need to leave, I would have left. No one told me to leave, that they were going to use force on a crowd that was, from what I could see, it was peaceful at that moment. Suddenly, Hurley saw a crowd of people running towards her. Police started firing off tear gas and shooting projectiles, either rubber bullets or bean bags. She jumped in front of an elderly woman walking her dog in order to protect her, and that's when Hurley felt the pain. It absolutely felt like a direct hit. I mean, it went basically to the bone, my cheekbone. Hurley went to the ER and had to get four stitches in her face. There also may be damage to her jawbone. We weren't doing anything, and I feel like there could have been a thousand other ways to disperse the crowd. Now, there are conflicting reports tonight about these projectile shootings, whether they were bean bags like this one found at the scene or a rubber bullet type uh, projectile. The La Mesa Police Department is not talking, not commenting at all on these injuries. The Sheriff's Department tells us they were not involved in these shooting incidents, but we're trying to sort it all out. Carlo? David, in general terms, Sheriff Gore was talking about the less lethal rounds, the rubber bullets, are supposed to be shot below waist level. Is that the same protocol that's supposed to happen for the bean bags as well? That's what I understand. Uh, I mean, those pepper balls do a pretty good job of dispersing the crowd. So one has to wonder, why are they using these projectiles? They seem to be used to target individuals as opposed to dispersing an entire crowd. And certainly that one wasn't below waist level. David Gofferson reporting live. Thanks, David.